basically show you how to maintain the trailer so it lasts a lot longer and you don't have any accidents or breakdowns on the highway let me show you what are the most important points on the trailer to check one place that is very important to check is right here at the tongue of the uh, trailer you open this up and there's going to be a reservoir here for your brake fluid so you remove this cap okay and then you make sure you have enough brake fluid in there in this case I have enough fluid in here so all I'm going to do is close the top of the plug here and before I close it with this lid here I want to spray I want to spray some WD-40 around the area here because brake fluid it is a little corrosive so that way there's no corrosion close the lid back on and this is one very important thing to check on your trailer now if you don't have brakes in your trailer you don't have nothing to worry about in this case I do have brakes on my trailer now here where the cap of the uh, axle is there's some grease there that you need to be greasing very often in this case I have enough grease but I always like to remove some of the dirty grease and and add some fresh grease you need a grease gun to grease the uh, axle without it you won't be able to grease it put it in there you'll see the cap coming this way the grease is going to push the lid forward so you'll see it when there's enough grease in there you see the grease push the cap forward so that will be enough of grease there with time when that grease is running out this cap has a spring loaded and it's going to push the grease into your bearing so that way you always have grease there I check this cap here very often because when I travel to Miami I put about easy 600 miles on the trailer then apply the cap back on it so once the trailer goes down in the water this cap and the grease around the cap is going to prevent from salt water getting inside your uh, axle there another thing is checking your bolts now this bolt was very hard to take out same as this one right here one thing I'm noticing with this bolt that they're more for decoration they're not good And let me show you why they're not good. See, I don't know who is the genius who invented these bolts. Look at this. These bolts, they have no exit for the salt water to get out. So look at this. Look at all that rust coming out of that bolt. There's no way for that rust to get out of there. So eventually that's going to break your bolt. It's going to go welded with the rust. So what I'm doing now is taking these bad design bolts, throwing them away, and using the old bolts, which if water comes in, it will go out the other side. Um, easier to clean and to rinse. Meanwhile, this hot water will go inside this bolt, and it's going to go to work every day until it will shut the uh, bolt so definitely change it for this one that you can rinse off and not have a problem it doesn't look as nice than the decorative one but it's not all about looks this is going to create a problem in the future so I don't know what kind of engineering you can see the bolt is swelling up in here so eventually you're not going to be able to take these bolts out so if you do get these rims and you get these bolts with it, don't use these bolts. Uh, throw them out. 
and make sure you get this type of bolts. They breathe through the other side. So you can rinse them off all the time. And this doesn't want to fit in there because it's all swelled up. So I'm going to have to hit it from this side. some silicone spray to prevent more rusting. Look how swollen it is. It's breaking up through here. Swollen up. So I can call this bolt type of suicidal because once you put them in, and this bolt's only been there for a year and a half, and if you don't check them, What's going to happen with this type of bolts? They're going to swell up and you won't be able to take them off. So that's why I'm going to call this bolt terrible engineering for keeping the salt water inside. So now the last thing I want to do is spread some more silicone spray. And every time you take the trailer out of the water, make sure you rinse really good with a lot of pressure the bolts. That was one important part that I did not know. So that's why you gotta check out your bolts and make sure you never use these bolts, never. Because in two years, you're going to encounter a huge problem with these vaults. I don't know why would they engineer a vault that the water will go inside and stay in there and keep corroding your metal. So this purpose of designing this vault, the manufacturer has something else in mind. To ruin your axle or you have to buy a new rim that comes with the vaults again. I don't know what's the purpose of that, but be aware, don't use these vaults. Now I'm going under the trailer, there's another place you really have to take a look at. The um, metal parts under the trailer, WD-40, but make sure you don't put it on the bolts. I'll show you where to put it. Okay, I always spray WD-40 on this type of spring here. They're not expensive to replace, but the labor is very expensive. It labors more than the spring costs. If a little bit hits the disc, it's no problem. And that's a very important thing to do to this side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come from the other side. Make sure you do this when you're not gonna use the boat for maybe a week or so. That way the WD-40 stays there for a long time. The longer it stays there, the better it is. All right, so when it comes to your trailer maintenance, you gotta make sure you have brake fluid. If you do carry a brakes on your trailer, make sure you have enough brake fluid and there's no leaks on the brake fluids. Also here on the wheels, you gotta make sure there's no rust in the bolts and they're free to be removed. The last thing that I did was check the springs and the springs they're okay and also lubricate them with WD-40 and make sure you don't use the trailer for a week or so that way the lubrication of WD-40 penetrates the spring and prevents it from getting rust. I've had it in the past like that for over eight years 
every six months and spray some WD-40 and the springs will last you a lifetime. That WD-40 does a good job on it. And also check your light bulbs. I already did that already and they're okay. Nothing wrong with them. A lot of people don't pay attention to their trailers and they pay a lot of attention to the boat. But if you haul in the boat for about an hour to three hours like I do, it's very important. You break down out there, you're gonna ruin your trip and it's gonna cost you a lot of money to tow your boat. Okay, guys, very important to keep your trailer in great conditions. Uh, avoid accidents and avoid breakdowns. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.